Welcome to Mike's Beer Channel on YouTube. Today, we're trying a beer that actually has an interesting story for me. Oh, to tell. Now, I grew up in Pennsylvania, Erie to be precise, and I, at one time, was a Canadian beer snob. I had to have Canadian beer. That's what I drank. He was still a can Canadian beer snob when I met him. How was I Canadian beer snob when I met you met me? They don't have Canadian beer down here. You were still trying to find good Canadian beer. Well, I, I still am. Anyhow, I used to drink, uh, Labatt Ice was my normal beer. Labatt Blue would work if I couldn't find Labatt Ice. In fact, the place I used to go to, the Park Tavern in Harbor Creek, PA, I'd walk in and they would start pouring a pitcher of Labatt Ice. And that wasn't for the group I was with, that was mine. Anyhow, so I moved to Florida and you can't get Labatt Ice. In fact, my wife, my wonderful, loving, caring wife, actually contacted Labatt USA I tried to find out how far we had to drive to get Labatt ice and apparently it was North Carolina yeah it was too far and that's too far to drive for beer although I used to drive to Canada three to four times a year for Canadian beer but at the time it took me an hour to get to Canada and you had uh, Labatt maximum ice Molson triple X you had upper Canada was a big brewery uh, Sleeman's, which is now part of Sapporo, was pretty big. Anyhow, I came to Florida, and you couldn't get Labatt's anywhere. Well, you get blue occasionally. But, so, I started drinking Ice House, which a friend of mine who had moved to Florida previously, in a group I was supposed to move with, but backed out at the last minute because I didn't have a job waiting for me. Anyhow... He also started drinking Ice House when he moved to Florida. I guess which ice it was the closest thing we could get to Labatt Ice. So, of course, it tastes absolutely nothing like Labatt Ice. It does not. No. Have you ever had Labatt Ice? Mm -hmm. Well, we went to the Park Tavern. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And all your family it. made fun of me because I was so cold in March and Erie. It's cold in March and Erie. Mm-hmm. Like they all made fun of me. Anyhow, so I drank a lot of Ice House. And when I drank Ice House, so it wasn't like the cheap bottom. It wasn't the cheapest beer you could buy. I mean, it wasn't the highest, most expensive beer you could buy. They all loved me too, though. That is true. So, let's drink Ice Brewed for a bolder taste. Now, Ice Brewing had a big, was big in the, was it early 90s? Everybody had an ice beer. Because they actually freeze the beer and remove some of the ice crystals. That's how they bumped it up to 5 point... Well, this is only 5.5% Yeah, I think alcohol. that was probably the early 90s. It was Somewhere only 5 around the time when I actually like was almost 21. Yes. But I didn't drink beer. No. Or, you know, alcohol. Because I was goody goody. Anyway, cheers! Welcome to Florida again. I smell nothing. Oh, I, I forgot to smell nothing. Oh, no. Yeah. Hmm. There might be a hop in there somewhere. I oh. can't taste it, but I'm sure there's a hop in there somewhere. I'm not a big fan of hoppy flavor, so I'm okay with that. Now this... Um, the first thing I think of is, is natural ice. The first thing I think of is headache beer. This is okay. like a headache beer. Well, I'm just saying, I think of natural ice because natural ice is is the same price, a little bit more alcohol, and I think natural ice has a little more flavor. This has kind of got a little, like, you drink it, it's kind of got, like, a space where it just, you're expecting more flavor and it's just not there, hmm. which is odd because right now, currently, that's actually what's in my, my cup for my, I, I bought because... They raised the price of certain beers at Walmart Neighborhood Market. So I switched from natural ice to this. And I think I might have to switch back. Because <laughs> <laughs> PBR has gotten ridiculous. I can't bring myself to buy a 24-pack of PBR when for a dollar more I could get Yingling. But I can't drink a 24-pack of Yingling because it's too heavy. I need a good, cheap, light, Ameri a light style American beer that's not a light beer. You shouldn't drink a 24 pack in one night anyway. God, no. No. <sighs> it 
it's okay. I mean, I'll drink it again because I've been drinking it since I moved to Florida 23 years ago. 23 years ago. Actually, that doesn't make sense. I moved in 98. So 2008, 2018. Oh, yeah, 23 years. Mm. Anyhow, so I... More than two decades. I first drank Ice House 23 years ago because I don't think I drank it up north at all. Because it's not Canadian. Canadian. I pretty much, when I, the last, when I lived up north, I pretty much drank. Now, the first beer I started drinking regularly would have been Coors Light. Although the first beer I ever drank, which I think I told on a story on a video somewhere back in the day, was a Miller High Life. With a buddy of mine, which I don't use real names, so I guess we'll call him. I don't know what we'll call him, but anyhow, we found it in a creek. How about Buddy? Buddy. He said Creek. I'm so proud. It's a Mill Creek. Yeah, I'm very proud. It was a six pack. There was one beer left in the thing. It was Miller High Life. It tasted horrible. It's when we. That's the summer we were collecting aluminum cans because you used to be able to collect aluminum cans as like a twelve or 11, 11 or twelve year old, thirteen year old. You can make some serious bank. You fill a 50-gallon drum with aluminum cans, and then his dad would take it to the recycling place, and they'd buy it, and then we'd split the money. I'm not sure if his dad took a cut. Or, I don't think his dad took a cut. Hmm. But I remember we had a special sledgehammer that had like a flat square thing on it to crush the cans because you wanted to fit as many cans in there. And I remember my grandfather <laughs> saying, hey, you should put a little sand in the bottom of each can and make the weight higher. I'm like, <gasps> That's cheating. That's cheating. <clears throat> of course, this is but it's cheating. Babe, way back in the day where we didn't think, hey, maybe we should have gloves on. <laughs> I mean, we'd go through parks, garbage cans, <laughs> you name it. We were looking for aluminum cans. But hey, for a four to twelve year old at the end of summer to have made like a hundred and fifty dollars collecting aluminum cans, that was huge. That was good arcade money. But our kids don't even know what an arcade is, do they? They probably won't. Are there arcades anymore? Well, they've been at an arcade, like, in a hotel. Oh, that doesn't count. But I don't know if they know the word, like, arcade and realize yeah. that that's what that is. Or at the bowling alley. There's, oh, like, the arcade it's at the like bowling arcade. alley. But they're not going to know the joy of getting out of school, walking home, walking past the pizza place that has a sit-down Pac-Man machine. Going in there, the pizza place, not buying pizza or drinks mm. or anything, but sitting there. With a roll of quarters and playing Pac-Man until see, you're... I'm from Jersey, so I didn't ever go buy a pizza place without, like, buying pizza. Definitely didn't go in a pizza place without buying pizza. Because, you know, it's good pizza. Can't resist. The crust is too thin. Mm. Mm hmm When have you been to Jersey? I've never been to Jersey. Uh-huh. Isn't Jersey pizza kind of like New York-style pizza? No, like, yeah. It depends on where you are in Jersey. <laughs> Oh, okay. I actually think I'm more fond of a of the Detroit style with a little bit thicker crust, and Chicago with a really deep dish. Oh, I could eat one of those. This dog is not going to let me put her down. Probably not. Anyhow, what did we think of Ice House? I think that if you are going to drink Ice House, it is a tasty beer, but definitely drink water after it so that you rehydrate yourself and don't explode your head. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> Don't explode your head. Anyhow, um, that's what's in here. Anyhow, tell me fuzzies. Like, Lots subscribe, of bubbles. Oh, pound the notification button. Till next time. You can drink a little longer. Bye bye.